Did you know that every time you upload a post on your Instagram captioned mood, somewhere in your bloodstream, your glucose is going, dude, where's my credit? And it's kind of right. Glucose does have a thing or two to do with your moods. To understand how, let's start with how glucose is metabolized in your body. After you finish a meal, your blood sugar levels rise and get absorbed into your cells for energy with the help of insulin. The insulin hormone controls the amount of glucose in your bloodstream. So, to be fair, glucose doesn't run the show. Insulin deserves some credit for your moods, too. So what does blood sugar have to do with your mental health, you ask? Well, a theory called blood sugar chaos suggests that glucose influences your mood. Basically, your gut health, inflammation, and thyroid functioning can be kryptonite for your brain. The normal range for blood sugar is 70 to 110 milligrams per deciliter. But with medication, excessive alcohol consumption, adrenal and pituitary gland disorders, or even a strict, restrictive diet, your levels could fall below this range. And when it does, you could be experiencing non-diabetic hypoglycemia. Your plunging sugar levels bring with it fatigue, brain fog, disorientation, and depression-like symptoms. Your body also quickly secretes cortisol, which makes you feel anxious and hangry, leading to sugar cravings. But where there's a hypo, there's a hyper. When your blood sugar levels rise beyond 180 milligrams per deciliter an hour or two after a meal, and above 125 milligrams per deciliter while fasting, we're talking non-diabetic hyperglycemia. While hyperglycemia goes hand in hand with diabetes, for non-diabetic people, it can look a lot like mental health conditions because it often leads to feelings of anger, sadness, tension, and lethargy. So, what can you do to keep your mood photos looking insta-worthy? You could start with our list of do's and don'ts. Don't skip breakfast. Instead, get more high fiber and starchy foods in your diet. Definitely skip that late night meal. And get some quality sleep instead. Don't forget to exercise. And remember, pack in yoga and meditation and lots of hydration. Small lifestyle changes and increased attention to your blood sugar can make a huge difference to your mood and, by extension, your overall well-being.